Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will see how to store an object into the S3 bucket and how to access it. So that we are going to discuss here. For that you have to select the services S3. Yeah, so once you select that it will take you to the dashboard where you can see if any buckets are already exist. First you have to create a bucket here by clicking the button create bucket and it will ask you the name here the name is unique and if any you know if the name is already taken by another user then you cannot avail the same name. So what I will do um, AWS um, bucket demo one two three. Let me try that and yeah and the second thing is you have to remove this block all public access because defaultly in Amazon due to some security reasons uh, it will be enabled. So you have to remove that and it will ask you for the acknowledgement you have to acknowledge that you are removing the uh, no. Uh, block of the public access and rest of the options are totally uh, no optional so I'll click create bucket yes now you can see the bucket is being created and here you can see the objects can be public it means whatever the data which you are storing into a bucket will be open to public yes now it is created just select that and open it so now we have created a storage space so now we have to upload the data into that particular storage space that is why we used to call it as a bucket for that uh, you either you can create a folder in that so that all your files will be segregated on that particular folder or simply you can upload so what I'll do I'll simply upload uh, add files and I'll put one okay I'll put one PDF file and one word file so you can see that uh, those two files are being put up into the storage that is the total of 8.8 .8 MB click upload yeah so now you can see that uh, all the files are being uploaded and uh, you can see here this is the destination okay this is the total storage that is the s3 is a location where our bucket name is the aws bucket demo 123 and we have two files uh, with size of 8.8 .8. so when you click this file you should be able to see or you should be able to download the particular file when i click this take me here yeah you can see here all the properties of that particular file and when I click this particular URL I should be able to download that particular file and uh, you can see defaultly okay defaultly the objects which are stored inside the bucket is private so I'll go back to that um, I'll click this and what you can do is object actions make public okay, select the options <coughs> and select make public okay the same way what you can do you can do it for the second one also uh, I'll click this public Yeah, you can see make public yeah, make public 
yes so even though you are making the oh no uh, bucket as a public you have to enable the option in the uh, object also okay now when you try to click yeah when i try to click this particular url i should be able to download it yes you can see here the file is being downloaded and you can see that the address bar okay so all the things like aws bucket demo 123 in the s3 and us west 2 uh, shows the region of that particular data center and you can see the file name as cloud.pdf so this is how you will uh, no, um, store and access the object and make it public and the same way when I try to open this particular document file I should be able to open it in the download or open it in the window so here since it's a document file it is being downloaded at the bottom you can see here the file is being downloaded okay so the two, two things you have to remember okay the first thing is we have to create a storage space in the cloud and then we are going to store the objects into the bucket that is the storage space and uh, we should remember that the default uh, no access will be set to uh, the uh, no private that is public access is blocked we have to remove that so that the objects which is stored inside a bucket will be accessible to anyone through this particular URL. So this is the URL. You can see the object URL through this anyone, any user can access the particular file. Thank you.